morning session for Stephanie. Good morning, Ma'am Rodrigo. Okay, so before we start our class, please remain standing. Uh, Before I group you, 
Uh, there are groups of pictures here in the board. So all you have to do is to guess what elements, compositions, and principles of arts are made. Okay? So you have the number of one, a right number of one to seventeen here, the same group. Okay? So I'll group you the two. All you have to do is to look, just look at me. I'll count it. Okay? So one, two, one, two. 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 One, two. Okay? So, um, you may now go to your group, group one, group two.
ones that have the same answers. That the item or element is present in composition and topography, and it is also present in the principles of arts. Of 
color. So, if we see the picture that there are lines or color na may nagadark, may nagalight, and uh, there are different kinds of lines, no? Na nagahighlight sa tsura or sa surface sa, uh, sa isa ka picture, it is an, a texture. Most especially, it shows the roughness or softness of the photography. So, all of the photography has texture. All you have to do is to identify what kind, okay? What kind of texture is that? Okay, let's proceed to number two. So it is light. So in short, it drives the viewer's eyes to the focus of the clock. Okay, my lady? My very good. Who answered that one? Okay, so there is a little light. So if there's a lead, in order for you to call it a sleepy line, dapat yung mga niya. Niya, uh, uh, focus sa photography. Let's proceed to number three. So, what is the purpose of color in emotion? Very good. It gives feeling, it shows emotion. You can determine the mood of the photography by using the element of color. So, if you think the photography is dark, gray, or white, what is the meaning of the photography? Yeah, gloomy, but somehow, huh? Yes, darkness. What else? What is the mood? What is the feeling? How do you feel? Do you see? Sad. Okay, so that's how uh, color was used. Okay, to emphasize the mood of the photography. Let's proceed to number four. So, what is the purpose of shape in photography? Yes. So, shape is used in of the photography. Okay? So excellent. Number five, um, that is form. So how would you say that it is a form? Yeah. Yeah. There is shadow or that that's what we call as the three-dimensional what? Okay, so it speaks about a three-dimensional figure on the photography. Their shadow, it is a Say what I'm Four. Four. Okay, so are you okay, class? Do you understand our discussion? Yes. Okay, let's proceed to number six. So what, what element is this? Oh. 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 So how would you say that it is a tone? There is a solid black and white. White. So you can't just say that it's solid, uh, it's black and white, but you have to emphasize the word solid. Because tone can be, uh, you know, medyo um, ano ka magdudunga, pakabalan mong tone and the uh, uh, contrast have the same uh, picture. Huh? So, kung, kung may makita ka ka-solid, di ka tama ka black and solid white. That is low. Okay? Okay, class? Did you get it? Yes. Okay. So, next, number seven? Space. Space. Well, how can we say that this is a Okay, it shows direction. Kaya pa pala, ang ating class kung tiin makalito ang subject sa photography. Okay, so very good. Okay, another example is that um, when you see some, some theater, wala, no? um, there are uh, photography na nakita na ito ng mga dancers sa sa'yo. Okay? But then, delivery ang dancer, no? Okay. Um, Okay, so a uh, space also refers to what we call the uh, rule of birds. Okay? So, sino mga kita? Ano sa inyo? No? Mga ASL or Sa There are three. Okay? So this green is very helpful in your photography. Okay? So the space, how can we, how can we make use of the rule of birds? in space. We need to have a subject in order for us to say that there is space in our photography. Okay. Sa very good. So, si, si Tao, dito siya ipunta, and dito siya katulog. No? So, we can see that there is space there because we know kung hindi siya mga Okay? Next, let's proceed to number eight. What composition focal point? Okay, focal point. Focal point, kung may mga tayo itong subject, kung nakapokus na itong lenses sa subject. Okay, next, let's proceed to nine. Structure. 
Okay, so we can definitely see a story behind this picture. Okay, so we can see the subject, we can see the setting, what's the story behind it. So that's structure. Let's proceed to number 10. Balas. Balas, very good. So uh, I just would like to clarify what are the three kinds of balance in photography? Asymmetrical, symmetrical, and Okay, and regional balance. So if both sides are equal, what kind of balance is that? Symmetrical. Okay, again, what is it? Symmetrical balance. How about if uh, both sides are not equal? Okay. So, how about if the light is not uh, is has balance? What kind of balance is it? Okay. So, when we say visual balance, the light has something to do with the photography. Okay. Let's proceed to number eleven. What is this? Emphasis. So, in emphasis, the photographer can use any of the elements to emphasize the subject. He can use the color. You can see what color is the dress. Worse, who is white. So he can also use element of love so that he can uh, emphasize the subject. Okay? Next, number 12, what kind of uh, First of all, widow. So what can you say about widow? What is widow? Anyone? Yes, so you can count the figures here of the picture. Okay? Unlike the pattern, so let's just compare these two. Sa pattern niya, you can count the shape, the line, the figures there. But then, we don't count less. Hindi ko siya naisip. Can you give me another example of we don't from photography? What uh, scenario? Can you? Why not to that? If there's a we don't. Example. So I'll give you the example. If you take a picture during a rainy season, okay, so mostly maybe we can take pictures while it's raining. So how could we say that the picture has been done? What subject? Okay, rain. There's rain. So magtulo ang rain. Can you count the droplets? No. So that's me done. Next, number thirteen. What kind of element is this? Contrast. Okay? So there's shadow. brightness and darkness there. You can see how the shadow uh, played the whole photography. But then, hindi uh, kita magpag-face the tone and ano ha? contrast. Okay? Okay. So let's proceed to number 14. Pattern. Okay. So how would you say that this pattern in the photography? What element of art is present here? Line. What else? Shape. Okay, so line and shape. We can tell that there's color because of our, our picture is not. So there's line and shape, and you can count the figures. And like that, be done. Understood, class? Okay, let's proceed to number 15. What kind of principle is this? Movement. Louder. Movement. Very good. So this is movement. How can we say that? This is movement. There is Okay, the train is moving. And you can see the whole figure of the subject. Okay? You think kung kung nagawa na kaya train, ano makita nyo? Bintana. Bintana ka? Bantahan, of course. And a thousand. But then, because there's movement, okay, you can the whole subject. Okay, good. So, we already discussed this. And how about unity? What can you say? Um, how can you describe the element or the principle of unity? So, it involves a lot of elements. We have combined. Makita natin sa photography that there are combined elements and principles of arts there. Okay, so in my class, I just would like to tell you that all of these pictures have unity. Okay, unless na mula ito sa polis, and hindi ko makita natin ang balansya sa mga 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 rule of thirds. What is this? Again, louder. Rule of thirds. Again, louder class. Rule of thirds. Okay, rule of thirds. Okay, you will encounter this as well. 
Okay. So we are done with our discussion. So, um, uh, please get one half crosswise. Okay, so I'll give you this.
in order for them to see to see us. Okay? So that's how digital photography functions. Okay? Have you understood the lesson for today, class? Yes. I really hope you understand something. Okay? Okay, for your assignment or output, as your bring home activity or output, create your photography using your gadgets. Okay? Indicate your creative title, the art elements present, and the purpose why you choose it. Your photography must reflect or relate with the art elements usually observed here in the Philippines. Okay? So you can take pictures in Japan or China there. Okay? Submit your printed output in a long paper in three pages. Page one will be your creative title, name, grade, and section, and date of submission. Page two will be your photography, either in landscape or portrait. The last page will be your explanation and background of your output, art elements, purpose, and meaning of your photography. I am expecting you all to be artistic in your output. Okay, so thank you class for your participation for the day. Goodbye and class this week. Thank you and goodbye, Mama Diego.